Let's create a radial symmetric design. First, we need to get our paper in a square. So to do that, we're going to fold the bottom corner all the way to the top of the paper and crease it once you get it lined up. That extra rectangle, we're gonna wanna cut it off. So sometimes I draw a line with my pencil before I begin to cut it. From here, we wanna fold the paper diagonally. Make sure we crease that so it stays. When you open it up, you should see an X in the middle of your paper. We will then fold it horizontally and vertically. So both up and down and side to side. When you open it up, you'll see a T in the middle of your paper. We now have eight equal triangular sections. To create a radial symmetric design, we are going to first draw a design using lines and shapes in only one of the triangular sections. You wanna make sure that these lines and shapes go from edge to edge. So what I mean by that is you are making sure they line up or they touch those folds in the paper because once we transfer them, they're gonna turn these lines and shapes into some really cool designs. So make sure you definitely have some shapes and lines touching the edge of that shape. You also wanna make sure that these are complex but you don't want them to be way too complex where it's gonna be so difficult to transfer all of these little designs. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this with a light board because I have one. If you don't have a light board, which you probably don't, sometimes there are apps you can download on an iPad that light up the screen and that may help you transfer the design. Sometimes you can use a window if it is a sunny day as long as you're able to see those lines and shapes, you would hold your paper down and trace it. And maybe none of these options work for you. Maybe you try to transfer your design, but you just can't see through the paper. In my other videos, especially the one for radial name designs, I show you how you can transfer a design not using a tracing board, not using a window, just by using your paper and your pencil. So be sure to check that out if you can't get this to transfer. Now I'm just going to speed this up while I transfer all seven sections. Now that I am done transferring all of my lines and shapes, I'm gonna choose three to four colors of any drawing material that I enjoy, and I'm gonna take my time and start coloring this in. I'm going to be starting with Sharpies, but first I'm gonna touch up a few areas that I notice are not matching up, so it's totally okay to do this. If you see some areas that you just need to fix a little bit, Go ahead and do that before you color. All right, so I'm gonna choose 
these cool colors. So we have the blues and the greens. Eventually I'm gonna use yellow a little bit later, but I'm just gonna start with these three. I like to work one section at a time, but it's totally up to you how you want to color this. Overall, your goal is to hide all of the white paper, so I don't want to see any empty sections when you're all done. This is something that you should take your time with, so maybe put some music on, put on a show you like to watch, just sit down and relax to color your design. Now I'm also going to start using some colored pencil because I want to create a value within my artwork. Value means I'm trying to go from dark to light as gradually as I can. And colored pencils are really my favorite tool to do this. So I'm combining both sharpies and colored pencils to color in my design. <laughs> 